what's up guys welcome back to the channel welcome back gals and girls welcome back today we're talking about power rangers dino fury episode 10 review well, let's get into it man let's get into it so the episode opens up with mucus making a new general since boom tower got destroyed last time um which also has the ranger data void knight then puts a i, I was about to say a mucus Void Knight then puts a Sporex into the new general. This general's name is Sliver, and Sliver's ability is that he can disguise himself as any anyone. So say he can say he can transform himself into Void Knight, he can transform himself into Zato, he can transform himself into anybody. Um so Void Knight's plan is to use Sliver as a surprise attack for the Rangers, not only to get the Sporex, but also to take them out as well. Um, um, we then cut to the forest where Zato is boosting his receiver to find out if anyone from Rathcon is still alive. Um, Zolon accidentally makes Zato dog food. You see, Zato used to feed a dog on Rathcon, and when Zato looked on, when Zolon looked at Zato's files, he, she saw this food and she was like, you know what, Zato likes it, so let me make it. But it turned out to be dog food, and Zato then showed her his past, um, Zato and Solon then have like a little moment with each other. Um, Zato then sends his message to outer space, but Sliver is then spying on Zato, and then he figures out a plan. His plan is to disguise himself. Um, he has a plan. I'm not gonna say the plan yet. But we then cut to Buzz Blast, where Javi and Amelia are leading Buzz Blast a Buzz Blast live review about some type of cat collar, and it can turn anything. It can turn a robot into a cat. So. Um, the Buzz Blast boss uses the cat collar on the Buzz Blast robot, but it turns into a legit cat. But there's a dog in the room, and they both start, and the dog, no, wait, the, the, they start chasing each other, basically. The cat chases the dog, or the dog chases the cat. Um, the Buzz Blast boss runs after the cat and the dog. Um, um, they, then, um, Zero's like, oh, you guys ready for training? And then they're like, yeah. So the, we then cut to the cut to the tra cut to the Rangers training in the wood woods and Izzy wins obviously but then there's like some big gigantic cloud and a woman pops out and the woman says she is Arla and that she is a knight of Rathcon and this had me startled startled because Zato said he was a knight of Rathcon so wouldn't Zato have recognized this woman if she was a knight of Rathcon? He would he would have recognized her, but of course Zato can't process anything or think wisely because he's in sh sheer shock that he's there's someone from his planet. Arla then says that the planet is thriving, and then she roasts Sloan's equipment. She was like, "Oh my God, this equipment is so old. Um, Rafcon's equipment is so much better." Um, Solon is getting bad vibes from this woman, but Zato's not feeling Solon at the moment. So the Rangers are like. Let's give her a room, let her process. So they give her a room, but then we find, but it is actually Sliver in disguise. Like we didn't know that yet. And Void Knight makes the plan, and the plan is for the Rangers to the for for Void Knight to distract the Rangers, so um Sliver as um Arla can steal the Sporks. Um, the Rangers, the Rangers then get the call from the Ranger hotline that the um Sporks are attacking. So they fight. Arla then tries to take the sporks, but then Solon finds out, and Solon realizes that it's like, um, Sliver then takes Solon outside and actually injure, like literally, he Sliver shocks Solon, making her suspended, and he takes and Sliver takes Solon's teleportation thing. But as soon as he teleported back into the base, as soon as the Rangers were about, as soon as Sliver was about to take the sporks, the Rangers came back in time. Um. They, the rangers were wondering where Solon went, so they were like, let's search for Solon, and Zato would stay with Arla. Arla, Zato then sees the teleportation watch on the table, so Zato's like, I'll show you how to open it, and using that exact moment, he touches Arla, and he realizes that Arla is not actually a, a knight from Rathcon, she is a, a, it's a sliver in disguise. Zato is able to teleport both Sliver and him out of the base, and he a and he's able to take out Sliver, but not really. Um, well, technically, um, he, Zato morphs, 
um and then the other rangers show up to help zato but then the sparks goes big and sliver heads into the sparks so the rangers take out the megazord and take the sparks out but sliver gets out of them of the sparks but when he hits the floor or hits some wine she can't remember who he is Muke is taking this opportunity to decide oh we're best friends and blah 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 then zato patches up solon and zato sends another signal that's that episode it's a very quick fire episode i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see y'all in the next one this one really played with zato's emotions